Hello and welcome to another video. This one is going to be about Game of Thrones. I finally got these two steelbooks in. Uh, the two final steelbooks in this series. Well, perhaps not the final ones, but uh, I think it's really great that we've caught up with the show. In other words, every season that has been aired on television can now be bought in these lovely steelbook editions. In case you've been following my channel, you may have seen my videos for the uh, previous ones. In case you haven't, you can check them out right now. Uh, seasons 1 and 2, and Seasons 3 and 4. So, we're going to unbox these and have a closer look at these two limited edition Game of Thrones stillbooks, starting with Season 5. Here we go, this is Season 5. City of Marine, a very important location for a certain character known as Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, you'll have to forgive uh, my my light. I have to use the light on my phone because it's getting really, really dark over here in Sweden. Uh, so I'm going to try to aim this as well as I possibly can. This is the back. Bonus features include The Dance of Dragons, Anatomy of an Episode, Mother's Mercy, the real history behind Game of Thrones, A Day in the Life, new characters, new locations, histories and lore. I, I love those histories and lore. They're like animated stories, basically, that, that uh, well, to talk about the histories and lore, quite simply, of Game of Thrones, because it's such a rich, vast world, based on George R. R. Martin's books, of course. In episode guide, 12 audio commentaries and deleted scenes. Looks pretty similar to previous seasons, but that's not a bad thing at all, because these are always fantastic. Alright, uh, I'm gonna unbox this and we'll have a closer look at the inside. Just as with previous seasons, you have this outside, very hard plastic case, which is translucent, actually has the text on it. But then you unbox the actual steel book, and you also have this protective plastic sleeve what you can use to keep things in line but you remove these two and you have the actual still book itself very very nice i must say a marine a shot of the palace where daenerys targaryen sits and this particular magnet they all come with collectible sigil magnets is of course of the sigil of house targaryen black and red three-headed dragon. So there's the actual steel book itself. And there's the back. Very nice. Uh, what's cool about these two is that if you line up the spines of all of these, you get the astrolabe from the opening credits. So that's also one way to display these if you prefer. Open this up. And we've got some stacked discs here. We remove those discs, and this is what we see on the inside. More of Marine from the opening credits, as always. You have a total of four discs, uh, two on each side here. Season 5 of Game of Thrones was very good, but it wasn't quite my favorite. I definitely can't call it like flat out horrible, but it's one of the weaker seasons in my opinion. Uh, just didn't quite live up to the standard of the other seasons. I think seasons 4 and 6 are kind of really truly enjoyed those. There's just not a lot going on in season 5. Uh, season 5 was good, but it's a little bit more plot heavy, and there's not quite as much action going on. Of course, Game of Thrones is a very plot heavy series, but... Uh, Still a very, very good season overall and well worth watching, but I personally found seasons 4 and 6 a little bit more intense and riveting, I guess. Alright, I'm uh, going to put this back and then we'll have a little look at season 6 as well. There we go, this is the cover for season 6, the limited edition steelbook city of bravos which becomes a key city for a character known as Arya stark uh, very very nice i really like the color of this of course we've got a coin from the iron bank of bravos the iron bank is the uh, main bank of the seven kingdoms and i guess this is one of their coins i think that depicts the actual titan of bravos 
if I'm not mistaken. Bonus features include a Battle of the Bastards, an in-depth look, fantastic episode, absolutely amazing. Uh, recreating the Dothraki world, 18 hours at the paint hall, histories and lore, again I love those histories and lore, in episode guide, 13 audio commentaries and deleted scenes. And as always, uh, these also include Dolby Atmos sound. So if you have a receiver that is able to play back, you can watch these in the top of the line, state of the art sound quality. Let's open this up too. All right, there's your box. And when we open this up, there's the plastic seal. And what's interesting about this is that it's reversed. So the coin is actually in the front. Very interesting. All right, so we remove that coin and here we go. This is the steelbook itself with the coin of the Iron Bank of Bravos, which you can remove. This is a little sigil magnet as always with these beautiful seasons. There's the steelbook itself. Iron Bank of Bravos, I believe. We'll turn this around as well. There you go, there's the Titan of Bravos, the first thing you see when you enter the port of the city of Bravos, which little Arya Stark does. And as with Season 5, you have four discs, a total of two on each side. And when you open this up, you see a little bit more of Bravos, I believe. There's your Titan again. So yeah, uh, not too remarkable, but very nice nevertheless. So we put these back. So I'm really not a big fan of the stacked discs, but as far as I can tell, these have been working just fine, nevertheless. It's not really ideal, but you know, it works. And that's kind of the main thing for me. Uh, at least they aren't scratched or anything like that, but I think they could have been, could have had their own separate, uh, you know, holders, so to speak. Anyway, uh, we'll close this up again. Uh, season six for me, the, the, last season that aired not too long ago was really good almost surprisingly good con considering the fact that they're no longer following the source material they've sort of caught up with the books a song of ice and fire by george R. R. martin so i think there was a lot of trepidation in this season people were wondering how are they going to pull this off is this going to work without following the novels and I think season six really proves that it does. It works exceptionally well. I think this is a great season for the show overall. And it, it kind of rejuvenated my interest in this series after season five. I mean, season five is very good, don't get me wrong. But season six had a lot of great moments that really just completely sort of reinvigorated the whole series for me personally. Especially the Battle of the Bastards episode, which I won't spoil if you haven't seen the show. It's just fantastic. It's an amazing, amazing piece of television. And I, I can't even begin to just what it must have taken just to achieve that episode. It's, uh, it's pretty mind-blowing. Pretty amazing. So there's a lot of exciting things that go down in season six, but I'm not going to spoil it for you here because if you haven't seen the show, I want you to enjoy it on your own terms. And I highly recommend checking out Game of Thrones. It's a sensational, sensational TV series based on some fantastic novels, of course. Uh, this is the final season that has aired. I believe they've confirmed we'll, we'll see two more seasons. So there will be a season seven and a season eight, but season eight might be the final season of the entire show. Which I think is a good thing. Uh, they, they shouldn't drag it out needlessly. Just kind of go out with a bang, so to speak. So, very excited to see Season 7. But it's been slightly delayed, so it'll premiere in mid-2017, I think. Uh, so that's going to be very exciting. Alright, uh, I want to have a quick look at all the previous stillbooks in this series. Here we go. I'm not going to unbox these individually, but if you want to have a closer look at all of these, I'm going to link you to... Some videos right at the end of this one where you can check out all of these in detail. We had season one, which was Winterfell with the Stark House sigil. We had season two, of course, King's Landing with the Lion sigil, home of the Lannisters. Season three, The Twins, a key location in the entire show, home of the nefarious, nefarious Walder Frey. Horrible, horrible person. 
Season 4, The Wall. That's where Jon Snow and the Night's Watch protect the realm of men from the horrors on the other side of the wall up in the north. And once again, Season 5, Marine. A key location for ruler Daenerys Targaryen and her army. And finally, Season 6, the Iron Bank of Braavos, a very lively city where a young woman called Arya Stark arrives to learn some very dark secrets. All right, that's the complete Game of Thrones collection. Hope you've enjoyed these videos. As everyone, I'm really looking forward to Season 7 when that premieres. And I'm really glad that we've caught up with these so quickly. I was really delighted. I love these particular Blu-ray editions. They're really, really luxurious and, and just fantastic. Every quality about them is great. You know, I wish the discs weren't stacked the way they are. But that's like a minor complaint overall because they, they work. You know, that's kind of the main thing for me. I should also mention that these little magnets tend to, you know, wear out pretty quickly. So if you want these attached to the steelbooks, you may have to like reinforce them. But if you prefer to just keep these displayed with the actual boxes, that's also one way to go. But I hope you'll check out the show. I hope you'll check out these amazing steelbooks and I hope you've enjoyed my video series. No word yet as to when we'll see seasons seven and eight, but I'm guessing that'll be late 2017 or early 2018 at the very earliest. So very exciting. And uh, please do check out my other videos. If you haven't, I'll put some links right at the end of this video. All right, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, take care and Valar Morgulis. Mm -hmm.